Here we are! Hello, my name is Micah. Welcome to the stream. We're finally, finally getting to the point where I might just actually beat this stupid game that I've been trying to beat for like ever. I think, I think that's the, yeah, no, it's the save file. Because we're at the final boss, it's just a matter of actually successfully beating the final boss, which has been uh, not an easy feat to accomplish, needless to say. Beyond the beaten path lies the absolute end. That is not who you are. Death awaits you. Yep, here we go, final phase. Okay. Okay! Final phase! Hopefully we can get through this. I've worked so hard just to get to this point. Now we're freaked out and so afraid, so now I have to remember how to deal with that. Yeah, I'm paralyzed with fear, so I can't do tactics because I'm paralyzed with fear! Ah! This is so annoying. And now he's doing the gown again, so... Oh my god, this is annoying. No, not this move. No, 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 no. Koro's alive. Not for long, but he's alive. Wait, I'm enraged too. Oh no. I'm enraged too. That's not good. Oh fuck no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is really bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. This is so fucking bad. Like we might win like this. But like this is really bad. The time has come. I'm still enraged. I'm not enraged. Oh thank god. Wait, if I attack you, is that gonna be the end of it all? That's such a fucking risk. I don't know if I wanna do that. Oh fucking Christ, I don't know if I wanna do that. He's not dead. All shall perish. He's not dead. I'm not dead. Ah. Uh. I am so scared. <laughs> I'm just like, he's got like a sliver of health left. I have, I am so close to being able to win. Like, oh god. I am so scared. I am so freaked out. What, it, what, this, oh no. Oh god, I am so scared. I am so scared. Oh no, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god, please. She turned against the party. Fuck me. -chan has been charmed. Use charm I see that! It's not great! Okay, so, um, what the fuck am I gonna do? Oh my god. This is the worst. I. Oh shit, no no no, we're dead. We're so fucking dead. Yeah. I was at a sliver. A fucking sliver! <laughs> I'm so bad. I am so bad! This is a, a situation to be in. Leave it to me. 
Not attack follow. Let me try that. It might be worth it. I don't like where this is going. Yeah, I know you turned against the party. Oh god. Oh Jesus. This is a time. Okay. Okay. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Ugh, son of a... Okay. Okay, somehow that could have been worse and it wasn't, and I'm really happy about that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Okay. Could have been worse. We're okay. Your courage on is paralyzed with fear. So close. Third time's the charm, we can do it. 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 Oh my gosh. Like right there, come on. Holy shit! Holy shit! Grind more my ass! I fucking did it!
We did, right? We did it! Right? Right? Oh no. Fuck, please no. No, not after all that. Come on. What is happening? Such a pity. What is happening? You understand fate, yet you still fight against it with all of your will. If more people were like you, then perhaps the fall could have been prevented. What? But it's too late now. No! Come on, after all that, you- No, you're fucking with me. You're fucking with me, and there's no- No. Um... Um... What? Soon. Soon it will descend upon us. Upon us all. Um, now they can see it too. Okay. Uh, 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 okay, um, what just happened to you? Uh, okay, um... What? <laughs> What's... What? Oh, hi. At last. You... Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, fuck you, shirtless Jesus. Shut up. But what are we gonna do? Something's coming. Uh Uh, it's definitely Ridiculous. not nothing. Are you out of your mind? Look who's talking! Death is imminent. Surely you know this. What do you hope to accomplish now? Literally anything that's not I that. I wanted to see the end with my own eyes. Jin. I will never give up. Never! Uh oh. What? Oh god. Damn it! I won't back down. I made up my mind. I'll fight till the end. Uh Okay. Oh. Some of the people that I befriended. The cop
Oh, and you. Okay. Gotta stay calm. You're looking for your Fuka. Just like Fuka was when she saved me. I'm the one who said we'll always be connected. That's how I know you're still hanging in there, Fuka. I'm scared as hell right now. But I won't give up. Right, Fuka? My heart. Oh! Igor! Igor! Why are you bringing me here right now? Igor! Dude! Dude! There's no need to worry. That's a load of bullshit, Igor. This isn't the afterlife. You're still alive. I mean, yeah, that's great, but, um, that- that doesn't console me, like, at all. Something about my contract, How yeah? The strength of your social links will determine your potential. Uh-huh. Listen. Can you hear the many voices? Each one's power is limited, yet they all reach out to you. Can you feel them? Yeah. Close your eyes and listen carefully. Their voices may be faint, but certainly you hear them. Whoa. A mysterious mass of energy is gathering. The powerful emotions of your friends and loved ones are flowing into your heart. I will always have your back, Xion. All I can do right now is pray. But whatever it is, man, I know you can do it. I know you're facing a difficult task, but I truly believe that you can overcome any obstacle. Something frightful is going on, but we won't give up. That's right, dear. Xion Chan wouldn't want us to lose hope. Ah! How dare you touch my emotions this way? Something crazy is going on here, but I know you're out there doing all you can, Xion. So I won't lose my cool either. You taught me that. Xion Kun, I know you're trying to stay focused. You were there when I needed you. I hope I can do the same. Everyone else is scared, but not me. You showed me how to be tough. I won't give up. What on earth made me think of you at a time like this? Well, I suppose you did teach me a thing or two about loyalty. You saved me, Xion. I was so blind before. I'm sure you've got other things under- a bit, 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 bit. I'm sure you've got things under control, right? You always do. Oh! Ah! You're dead right now! How? How? I know I'm not the only one who suffered. You've endured a lot, too. How dare you? You're dead right now. How? Ah! Uh, but you can't just give up. You taught me that. Oh, God. Can you hear them? Yeah. These are the voices of hope that wish to help you. This hurts. Separately, they are weak. But together, they will bring about a great change in you. Now is the time to draw on the true strength of the bonds you have forged. Okay. Whoa. A single little card, hey? I never dreamed of seeing that card with my own eyes. This is indeed a surprise. What card? What is it? Behold, the last power you and I shall unveil. It is the power to bring about a new beginning for the ultimate end. It may be possible now, with this newfound power, you may be able to defeat the one who cannot be defeated. What you have in your hands is the power of the universe. Nothing is outside the realm of possibility for you now. Okay. What? We will soon reach your destination. It seems that in addition to death, fate has also dealt you the wild card. You must accept your destiny. Our contract has been fulfilled. I have completed my role as well. 
Wait, does that mean I won't see you anymore? You were truly a remarkable guest. What? Where's our destination? This has been an elevator the whole time? <gasps> This has been an elevator. The Velvet Room has been an elevator. Okay. I'm just floating. I don't know what I'm doing. But if I go back, then all of you die, right? So... I can't do that. Uh... Oh. Huh? I... Okay. Out of emotions. Oh god. What? this to me. Did I just hear Shinji's voice? You can't do this to me, okay? I can't. I fuck- oh no. I think I heard Shinji's voice. I'm gonna cry, dude. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry.
Did Nyx create this place? Or was it him? Is he all right, Fuka? What happened? Everything was engulfed by a bright light. I don't sense him. Don't tell me he... No, that can't be. Try again. He can't be the only one. You've got to be kidding me. Damn it. Not again. We all decided to put our lives on the line. In fact, we came here knowing we would most likely die. How could I be so powerless? This is what I was trying to prevent. I'm sorry, I guess. You're there, aren't you? I know you are. I refuse to believe that you're gone. Answer me! I know you can hear me! We're here. Please let us hear your voice. Everyone is desperately calling out to you. <laughs> Don't worry. That voice. I will sleep once again. Normal days will return to this universe for you. And for him. He's found the answer to life's greatest question. It just happened a bit sooner than it will for the rest of you. Life's greatest question? I guess you'll find the answer one day as well. You two are a precious living thing. You just need to realize how the bonds of friendship have changed you. The Dark Hour will soon vanish from this world. All will truly be relinquished from its dominion, and the legacy of life will continue. Congratulations. You have the miracle you sought. We shall meet again someday. But then where am I? gone, aren't I? The battle has ended. Tartarus and the Dark Hour have disappeared. By an unexpected miracle, the world was saved from the fall. Peace was restored and people, and people resumed their busy lives. No one remembered anything about the extraordinary turn of events. And so, the season changed. One month later, What? Yo. I'm alive! Damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school. And can you believe this year's already over? We're practically seniors now. Just one more year. You think anything interesting will happen? Yeah, I think so. I hope you're right. But seeing the current seniors makes me wonder. Seems like all they freaking do is study. Talk about boring. Dude. <laughs> 
I mean, it's because exams are difficult the further you go. Is that gonna be us next year? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Hey, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute. How come I never noticed her before? Oh, no. They forgot everything, everything. Like, everything, everything. What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Seriously? Uh, what's her name, then? I don't know. So then why are you giving me a hard time? Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. So many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Akihiko senpai is moving out. You know, the captain of the boxing team. I know who he is, but I haven't really talked to him. No way, no! No! I don't like this. They live, but they don't. I'm No. <laughs> of course all the graduates are leaving, even Kirijo Senpai. Miss Student Council President. She's in our dorm too, huh? I'm not happy about any of this. Hey there. Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Um it's nothing. Do you remember I guess? She looks kind of depressed, doesn't she? Wait, do you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> I doubt it. Ouch, that hurts. By the way, Yukitan. Uh, never mind, forget it. Aw, oh, come on now, don't give me that. Is he gonna uh, end up uh, asking her out? Do you remember how we became friends? Oh. I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I was just thinking. Well, it's not like we're best friends or anything, so I guess it just kind of happened. They don't remember. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. It is kind of weird, actually, now that I think about it. But I can't really explain why. Anyway, that girl. Oh, crap. What about me? Do I remember anything? Because it seems like I guess remembers. But why don't I? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm curious about the shrine. Because, like, is Karumaro at the shrine? <gasps> oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hello there. Oh, he must be. Um, by any chance, is your name Shion kun I see. So, you're Shion kun Oh, excuse me. I'm Mrs. Kamiki. Akinari's mother. My son talked about you a lot. I was just thinking about him. If you have time, could you sit here and talk about him with me? Yeah. That's wonderful. Please sit down. Today is a special day. What a coincidence seeing you today. It must be another of God's tricks. Today is my son's, Akinari's birthday. He'd be 20 if he was still alive. Only 19 years. It wasn't long enough. He was almost an adult, but he never made it. He had a genetic disease. Me, I'm healthy as a horse, but him. The doctors detected it at birth. They knew he wouldn't live to see adulthood. Every day I wondered if he'd wake up the next morning. I blamed myself for what he inherited, but he said something to me near the end. I'm sorry to have brought so much pain into your life, Mother. I'm glad to have been given life. 
I'm glad to have been your son. Thank you so much for the life you have given me. That's what he said. He was the one who suffered so much, and yet he said that to me. But my son brought me a lot of joy, too. Holding his warm body in my arms just after he was born. Those tiny hands. That first smile. Hearing him breathe easily at night. Every day I gave thanks for him being alive. Every day I found new joy in him. And now I'm so lonely and there's nothing I can do. But my boy gave me so much that I have to keep on going looking straight ahead. That's how I feel. I like the finest foods, visit the most exotic places, everything my boy could never do. I'll have so many stories to tell him about the things I've done. On that day, when we meet again on the other side, if I didn't have that to look forward to, I don't know how I could go on. That reminds me, when my son's condition worsened, he started writing a fable, but when I was cleaning out his room, I never found the notebook. He said he was going to show it to you first when he was done. I asked why not me, and he laughed and said, you'll be the second one to see it, Mom. I suppose he wasn't able to finish the story. I have the notebook. My son, he was able to give it to you. You explained how you received the notebook from Akinari and that you heard the entire story from him. I... I see. I'm so glad. That was my only regret. It was awful to think that he wasn't able to finish his project. I see. You should hold on to that notebook. You should hold on to the notebook. I'm sure that's what my boy would have wanted. I'll wait for him to tell it to me himself. When I see him again. <laughs> now I have something else to look forward to. I'm glad you and I could finally meet. Thank you. There is one piece of advice I'd like to give you as an old lady to a young man. Take good care of the ones dearest to you. If you wait until their time has come and you're clinging to their cold bodies, then it's too late. Everyone who's born will die someday. Not just Akinari or me or you. It happens to everyone. So before that happens, it doesn't take a grand gesture. You don't have to make a big production of it, but if you love someone, let them know it. We all go through life with the same struggles, the same heartbreak. We should be able to prop each other up with the same love and kindness as well. I'm sure you have something precious you can share with people. Always remember that. Ah! Does that mean I can find other people and their items that they gave me? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. What about the old couple? They're at... Was it Porta? No, it was a toad dive, wasn't it? Oh gosh. My brain is like racing. Because I'm trying to... Oh man. Ah! Oh, hello Xion chan How have you been? You've grown so much since the last time I saw you. Come on, dear. There's no way he could have grown that much in so short a time. What must have happened is that we shrink, right, Xianchan? Oh, good point, good point. You've got me there. By the way, Xianchan, I'm thinking of giving this old place a remodeling. I'll make it even showier than the wing they're adding to Gekukon. Speaking of which, the school's decided to move the, the persimmon tree to another field. It'll be replanted on a hill where you can see the whole campus, so our son can still watch over the school and its students. I know that tree isn't really our son, but it still makes me happy. Once my dear wife heard, she couldn't stop crying. Come on, smile, bah! Don't yell, dear. Your dentures will <laughs> your dentures will fall out. Anyhow, we'll support the Gekukan High School student or the Gekukan High students as best as we can. You look very mature now, Xianchan. You must have been working so hard. Come visit us anytime. So, whose items do I all have here? I can't even check. It won't let me go through the menu to find out. I heard that the key to Hagakure's success is its secret menu. Can you tell us more about that? It's a little embarrassing, but one day this student saw what I was preparing and said he wanted to try some. I didn't want to give it to him, but he insisted, so I made him a bowl. He tasted it and said, mmm, put some fish flakes in. So I did, and you know what? It was so good I decided to put it on the menu. Though it wasn't my idea, so I kept it as a secret menu item only. I didn't really appreciate his attitude, but I learned a lot from that kid. He's getting more and more popular in this strip mall. He's pretty much an idol here. An idol? Him? Oh yes, Nozomi is the one who made this coffee shop famous. 
His appearance and mannerisms may be eccentric, but he has an encyclopedic knowledge of food and a discerning palate no one else comes close. All our patrons know him. All of them, eh? How do you feel about his announced plans to leave here and tour the world of food? I was devastated, of course, but I wish him well in whatever he wants to do. I heard he's working on a book. I can't wait to read it. Even though he's far away by now, I feel like he's right next to me. I hope his journey goes well for him. Okay. Oh, that cat? He's not here. My mom said it was okay to take him home, but I came the next day to pick him up, but he was gone. That means he was free, right? So I bet things will be better for him this way. That's okay. I won't look for him. I know he's doing great somewhere out there. Okay. Did you eat the special Hagakure ramen? If you eat it with a friend, you'll be friends forever. It might just be another rumor, but when I'm as old as you, I'm gonna go have some with my friends. Okay. I decided to get another job, but I've been keeping it secret from my wife and my daughter. So even if I don't succeed, I've got a plan B. I guess that's how the world works. People think nothing of ruining someone else's life. I've just got to do my best. I'll deal with what happens when it comes. What about you kids? Are you satisfied with your lives? Oh god. Hmm? You're Shionkun, right? Now I'm Maiko's dad. If you have a minute, could we sit and talk for a while? Good, I was hoping you'd say that. Here, have a seat. Want some takoyaki? The stand here is really good. Oh, I guess you know that already, huh? Okay, well, before we continue all of that, I need water. So, I'm gonna be right back. When I see this place, I remember all the times I'd come here with Maiko. She came here when she ran away from home, too. She really loved the takoyaki. Hey, what's up, Kipper? You're here for attention, are you? She was a good kid, huh? You're right. She's so good that I wonder if she's really my kid sometimes. Yeah. I got a letter from Maiko. It's long and full of details about her new life over there. She says she's made a lot of friends. Let's see, she's in charge of the rabbits at her new school, and she has to get up early to clean the cages. They yelled at her for forgetting her PE uniform. She forgot her homework and had to copy a friend's. I never knew she was that forgetful. Hey. Yeah? Oh, and she did so well at her ugh, recorder test that she was asked to perform in front of everyone. Then she goes on to talk about how she plays at the park right by the school with her friends every day. Her mother's doing well too. They're having a lot of fun together. You miss them, don't you? Having fun sounds nice. Nowadays, I come home to an empty house. The room seems so big without them. I wonder if she feels the same way about her house now that there's no dad in it. We put that kid through so much on account of our own problems. I feel terrible about it all. Stop eating the rubber off of that. Anyway, as for you. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part, you little punk. Seems Maiko really took a shine to you. She wrote all about you. I can't wait to grow up, Dad. That's why I'm drinking lots of milk. I'm going to marry him someday. <laughs> What's up with that, you punk? You were taking advantage of my little Maiko, weren't you? Maybe I have been the best- Maybe I haven't been the best dad, but I'm still her father, damn it! And I'm not letting a guy like you touch Maiko with a ten-foot pole. I'll never let you marry her, don't forget it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so funny. I love it. Alright, I think that's everybody in this area. Because I don't think there's going to be anyone up these, like, stairs or nothing. Dude, do you remember anything we did this entire year? I just remember chilling here. That's it. And I hate to say this, but what a waste of time! <laughs> hey, Shion, sup? I wanted to talk to you, man. I just heard back from the hospital about my knee. The results are in. And it's 100% healed. They said I can keep good, keep doing kendo team. Oh man, that's great. Dude, I was so happy I almost broke the door's back. I hugged him so hard. But thinking about it now, if I kept hiding the pain in my knee, I get goosebumps, man. I was pushing myself too hard, trying to catch up to you, and I got pissed off because nothing seemed to go right. I went too far again and shot my knee all to hell. Man, I was acting like a little kid. I thought so, anyway. 
I kept saying it was all for my nephew, but it was just my pride. And I got you, the guys on the team, and my parents worried for nothing. Man, I was such a baby. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thanks, man. But at least I finally snapped out of it, even if it took me long enough. Thanks, Xion. I couldn't have done it if you hadn't been there for me. I swear, right here, right now, that I'm gonna do better next year. I'm not gonna jump to conclusions like that. I'm gonna listen to people. It's hard for me, but... Well, that's about it. I just wanted to tell you first. Now I'm gonna head to the faculty office and tell everyone there, and then tell the team. Dude, are you alright? You look kinda tired. Go get some rest, man. Your health is the most important thing, right? We're still signed up for the spring tournament. If you slack off, man, I'm gonna leave you in the dust. Later. Contracts expired, so Dora's gone. Yeah. Oh, Shankun, are you feeling all right? You don't look so good. If there are no symptoms, it could be ame anemia. Do you want me to take you to the nurse's office? Well, first though, I want to tell you something. I took the college entrance, entrance exam, and I failed. It's the first time I've ever failed this badly. <laughs> I'm going to study harder starting this spring. I thought I'd studied enough, but I guess I started too late. Before, I probably would have given up after hearing about it, but not anymore. I want to be a doctor and save as many lives as I can. I want to protect my loved ones. There are a lot of ways I can do that, but my way is to heal them. So I won't give up anymore. I'm going to try the entrance exams again next year, and this time I'll be shooting for the top score. Thanks, Jiankun. I think it was because of your help this year that I've changed so much. I'll be graduating a year earlier than you, but I won't forget about you. I wonder what kind of chemistry we'll be doing as seniors. I can't wait. Okay. Oh, hey, what happened to those apathy syndrome people? Just a little while ago, the town was thick with them. Eh, I'm busy text messaging, so tell me later. <laughs> Alright then. Well, the tree's still growing. I don't think there's gonna be anyone over here. Yeah, I didn't think so. I just wanted to check though, because honestly, it would make sense if I missed something. I've decided to go to a four-year college. I think it's true that you need a good education in life, but that doesn't mean I've given up. I'll get into the fashion industry, even if I have to take a part-time job or something like that. Okay. Interesting goals. You remember the weird stuff that happened about a month ago? It was near midnight and everyone was standing outside. I was outside too, but to tell you the truth, I don't remember anything about it. I think it's because I'm too worried about Mitsuru Senpai moving away to another country. <laughs> oh, Shionkun. Are you okay? You look so pale. Maybe you should see the nurse. Oh, why don't I go with you? I'm going to the faculty office and the nurse's office is next door. I want to be by your side as much as I can. I'd be happy to go with you. Let's go then. Oh, this is actually the first time we've walked side by side in school, huh? I'm a little nervous. Hmm, Yamagishi, what are you doing outside the faculty office? Um, uh, I want to start a tech club. Tech gloves? You mean technician's gloves? Well, I think you'd have to go to a hardware store for those. Uh, not tech gloves, a tech club. Like a club all about technology and electronics. You want to start a club? Ugh, why is Yamagishi so troublesome? Look, it's already March. Can't you at least wait until April? Huh? But I really want to get started on it now. I'll do my best to find members. Um, so do I have your permission to start a club? What? You mean to say you don't have any members yet? Then it's not even worth discussing. You can't start a club without at least five members. Now then. Oh, he's gone. Well, it looks like I need to find five people. Xiankun, would you like to join my tech club? Yeah. Yes, I'm so glad. I was hoping you would say that. I thought liking electronics made me strange. I always kept it to myself because I thought it was strange for a girl to be interested in that. But if you can accept me for being this way, I don't want to hide it anymore. 
No more pretending to be someone else to my friends. I've decided to be strong and let everyone know who I really am. Even if people think I'm strange, that's okay. I'll have you with me, so there's nothing to be scared of. I want to meet lots of people like me and hang out with them. I kept my love of electronics hidden, so I never had any friends who shared my interests. That's why I thought I'd start a club all about it. Maybe other people like that sort of thing as well. If so, I want a way to talk to them. But I admit, it makes me a little nervous. Oh, but I'll still keep coming to music club. I'll be busy, but it's important that I do this well. It's like jumping off the diving board at the pool. That's how it feels. Hey, Xion kun You'll stay in music club next year too, right? I want to stay in whatever clubs you're in. I want to be in the same home room too. And I want to see more of you at the dorms. I just want to be with you more in general. I've been saying more a lot. I hope you don't think I'm taking advantage of your kindness. Hey, you can say whatever you want to me, okay? I might not be reliable, but I want to get to know you better. I want to get closer to you. Oh, I've got to hurry and find some club members. I need to make some posters and other things too. Well, see you later. Uh huh. She's so cute. Oh wait, what? What's going on? I also like how nobody talks about Baiko's relationship with MC compared to Ken's Link. I mean, I think it's not as bad because like he's not taking advantage of her or leading her on to think that they are gonna get married. It's just her having like a childhood crush on him, basically. And like it's not taken seriously at all. So I think that's a little different versus the Ken social link where they're actively like putting together a high school student with a elementary school student. Like, that's weird. The Linus Tech Tips be there as an assistant teacher. I mean, maybe, who knows? Well, I really have to go now. Bye! <laughs> Alright then. Uh, I think that was- oh, maybe not. Hello, Xiankun. You don't look good, are you okay? Well, time flies. It's already March. There's something I wanted to tell you. We'll still be able to talk to each other next year, but I wanted to say this while we're still both on the student council. I'm going to quit the council. I'm just not going to apply next year. That cigarette business gave me a lot to think about. This may sound odd, but do you think this country is headed in the right direction? No. I see. Me neither. Around January, there was a sinister cult growing in popularity. A society without a future. For many people out there, that's the reality. I was thinking how we could change that, and what it would take to change society. I thought maybe one influential person could start a revolution. But starting a revolution just because you have the power to do it creates more problems. There is so much irony in what you were saying about marriage in P3. What about- what do you mean? Cause like, I'm pretty sure I was just like taking it as like a childhood crush and not anything more. That's what the Nixist incident taught me. I realized how naive I had been. Now I think the best thing for society is more education. Things that each of us have to learn before going out into the world. That's what's needed most, so. I'm thinking of becoming a teacher. A society is dedicated by its people. If we improve the people's minds, society will be likewise improved. Aren't you going to laugh at me? Say something like, you, a teacher? Eh, uh, nah. I see. I'll do my best. That's all I wanted to tell you. That and to say thanks. It was thanks to you that I reached this conclusion. So am I missing anybody? I think that's it. The only other place I can think of is the roof. Because I haven't checked the roof. And I also haven't looked very closely at our classroom. Those are like the only two places. Oh! Sup, Xion? Dude, I've got a super important announcement to make. Wanna hear, huh? Okay, here goes, and this is just between you and me, okay? Next year, there are three fine-looking women teachers coming in. 
After Emmy, I mean Miss Kano leaves, there's no spark to the faculty roster, right? Miss Toriyumi has that weird secret she refuses to tell anyone. Miss Onishi is obsessed with medicine. Miss Tarauchi is like going to India or somewhere. I mean, come on, even our nurse is a guy. Even if he's good at a job, nurses are supposed to be girls. He's ruining my lifelong dream to fake sick, ditch class, and chat with the hot nurse. You okay, dude? You're not looking so good. You should see the nurse, but uh, I'm not going with you, dude. Oh, oh, and I heard those new teachers are coming by today to check out the campus. I'm thinking about hanging around the faculty office to scope them out. Wanna come? Wise decision, oh sir, Shion. See, starting next year, we can choose our home room. So we've gotta make sure we choose the right one if you catch my drift. Wait a minute. Oh crap. Today's not March 3rd, is it? Shit! Sorry, man. I gotta get lost before she gets here. M my little sis. She'll be coming here starting next year, but she's gonna swing by today and look around. But I'm not gonna be her damn tour guide. I don't want to lead her around by the hand where everyone can see. Ugh, I wish I had an older sister instead. Well, whatever. I'm gonna jet. Later, Shion. Changing semester sucks, man. It's such a hassle to learn the new routine. Graduation is coming up, but it's a waste of time to pursue anyone who's leaving. Next year will be tough too, man. Those hot chicks won't stay single for long. You better start planning now. <laughs> a lot of stuff's happened this past year. I don't remember what exactly, but it was big. I know that. But if it was that big, shouldn't I remember it a little better? Oh man, it's making my head spin. I'm confusing myself. What the hell did we do this year? A lot. But you don't remember. And you probably won't remember until I'm completely out of the picture. So. Yeah. Apparently, and I'm not joking here, at one point in P3's development, a marriage certificate system was going to be implemented, but was cut. Oh. Well, I'm glad it was cut. Jesus. I don't want that. No, thank you. I did not sign up for child marriage. All I, all I signed up for was like a little childhood crush. That's it. That's all. Just an innocent little childhood crush. The TV is left on. The news is on. Coming up next, a special report on the Amazing Commodities Corp of the Tanaka's Amazing Commodities Program. President Tanaka's failure to account for certain expenditures has caused a media stir lately. We now join our field reporter live from the scene. I'm reporting from the Amazing Commodities head office where a swarm of journalists have convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air here can't be denied. Thank you, and we'll be looking forward to updates as soon as anything happens. Back to the studio. The unaccounted expenditure has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize that tax evasion is the cause. Oh, there's no question about that. I remind you that this is President Tanaka we're talking about. He tricks his own viewers for a few extra bucks. I bet he'd slit his mama's throat for a five yen piece. No matter how high his net worth rises, he'll never be satisfied. He's lower than the scum on an earthworm's belly. All that money and no charity's ever seen a dime. Well, I'm not sure he's as bad as all that. Oh, this just in. Something has happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged. He's carrying a microphone. It looks like he's going to sing? Oh, similar to Fire Emblem S ranks. Okay. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. Grantor of your desires. Hi, everyone. Amazing Commodities is here for you, year round, rain or shine. We have a monopoly on the cheapest, highest quality goods. Our customers' ecstatic screams cause noise pollution. Our stocks rise so high they're a hazard to birds, and we make losers every day out of people who don't buy. We're the only miracle left in this sad, desolate world. That's the amazing commodities guarantee. We look forward to your business. And his car drove off. Oh, he's gone! What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a journalist? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, it's as good as free advertising. You'll have to interrupt you there as we've just received a fax. It's from President Tanaka. The message reads, Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook I've ever had. And what's in my pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money, so what's it to them how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I'm not ashamed of a single thing. My conscience is clear, dear viewers, so buy my products, guilt-free. 
Amazing commodities here for you year round, rain or shine. Bye now or drown in bitter tears. Bye bye. Apparently, he had no intentions of revealing his use for the funds. Has this to has this Tanaka no shame? Just because he's made some money for himself doesn't mean he can toy with the common man's emotions. As self-appointed representative of Joe Q Public, I have something to say, and I'm not afraid to say it. Fat pigs like him who gorge themselves on the excesses of capitalism should be... Thanks very much as we wrap up our special report. With no new clues as to how the funds have been used, we can only hope that they went to humanitarian purposes. Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market. Where amazing commodity stocks are skyrocketing on the strength of the bizarre revelations just now. I'm not even surprised. <laughs> Yeah, you want help There you go. Ooh. There's now Persona collab with a wedding service company. Yeah, I did hear about that. It's a little weird. All is quiet. It doesn't seem like the others have returned yet. They all must be enjoying the peaceful evening. Even though you've just returned from school, you are feeling very tired. You should go to sleep early tonight. It's me, Igis. May I please come in? I think you remember. Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. I remember everything. Everyone seems to have forgotten. But I remember that day we... You're right. I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did at the last battle. Graduation's today, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. Such nice weather outside. Do you remember? The promise we all made? Why don't we go there and wait for the others? We can enjoy the view of this peaceful city. I hope they remember the promise too. What links do you have maxed out? Uh, a few. Though this is our last day together, we want the senior class to know that you've truly earned our respect. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and prosperity. On this auspicious occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. <laughs> From Class D, Mitsuru Kurijo. Thank you. Wonder what she's gonna say. This last year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. Well, it must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. That's not exactly how it went. Sudden illness? Wow, well, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. It's a big day. It must be tough thinking about her father. I think she... I yeah. Yes. With my father's death, I lost my purpose in life. Hang on. Wasn't I supposed... 
supposed to. They're remembering. Here goes Senpai. What's up? But now I have something to live for. No longer will I run from the future. I will face it head on, carrying out my father's will. I am resolved, and without reservation. Yeah, they remember. I owe it all to my invaluable friends. And we have promised to never lose hope, no matter what tomorrow may bring. Senpai, we made a promise. Let's find him, and I guess too. Yes, I can hardly wait. Everyone, let's go! <laughs> the wind feels so nice. I'm this so is happy. My first time experiencing spring. They didn't all forget me. But this season will eventually pass. After fighting alongside you and facing the world's end, I finally began to understand what it means to live. Thinking for yourself, not running away. Aw, oh, shit. Sorry, dude. Accepting the inevitable. All things eventually come to an end. Every living thing will one day disappear. Only by accepting this can one discover what they truly want, what the meaning of their life will be. I understand now why I was so tormented by my lack of strength. Protecting others became more than just an order I had to obey. I wanted to do it for my own reasons. I realized this once I decided to try and prevent the fall, when I thought I might never see you again. Something else became clear to me. What I wanted most. And so... I made up my mind. I decided that I would continue to protect you. I want to be your strength. I know I'm not the only one who can do this. But that's okay. <laughs> my life will be worth living if it's for this reason. It'll be okay. You're right. What am I doing? I understand now. So I should be happy. Hey! Everyone! I realize now that I have friends as well. You don't have to save the world to find meaning in life. Sometimes, all you need is something simple, like someone to take care of. I'll keep on living no matter what, so that I can protect you. <clears throat> Thank you, for everything. You must be tired. Please, get some rest. I'll stay right here with you. Soon, all your friends will be here by your side. You're getting sleepier. Your eyes feel heavy. I don't want to close my eyes yet.
And that's the journey! Oh my god! No way! I finished it! Holy shit! I finished it! I finished it! Oh my god! It happened! What the hell? That's so nice. It's really nice. I need to play the answer now. Because I, I feel like I need to know something. I need to know if I like died in that moment or not. Because I feel like I did. And like... I just gotta know, okay? <laughs> I can't believe I finally beat this game. Oh my gosh. I gotta update some shit on Twitch now to be like, if this is a game that we've beaten. Holy god. I can't... I can't believe we actually, like... Oh my gosh. Hey man. I got to. I got to. Where is it? I am... Settings. Oh wait, I think I know what I have to do. I mean if it loads everything the way it should. There we go. So I have to go down here to do it. Yeah, so I like beat this one basically just before I'm pretty proud of myself So hopefully I can like get the answer done before the release, but I highly doubt that I think it's gonna take me longer than 10 days to do that I nearly cried because of hearing Shinji's voice at the end though, like, that almost got me. I almost cried. It's such a small team that worked on this game. At least, like, a smaller team than what, like, I assume Persona 5 was using. I'm 
can't believe I did this. Cannot. Atlas makes such good games. PS2 games seem to have small dev teams back in the day, but still really straight out the gate bangers. Yeah. My heart! It just ends like that. Oh my god. What if I'm dead, dude? 